Consider a given model that contains a set of decision variables x1, x2 and so on with domains d1, d2 and so on. The objective is to maximize or minimize some expression subject to a set of constraints. To emphasize that the objective function and the constraints depend on the decision variables, we can write our model in the following very abstract form. Details of the constraints or the domains are not important. In a previous video on the elimination of variables, we have seen that variables can be removed from a model under certain circumstances. In some sense, we do the reverse now. We introduce new decision variables y1, y2 and so on, that are copies of the x variables. The property of being a copy is added to the model by adding respective constraints. At this point, the y variables have no function at all and the purpose of them is not obvious yet. The core idea is that you can freely rename the variables in the constraints. It makes no difference whether you use the name x or y. And that is what we do. Select some, not all of the constraints and rename the decision variables. The model looks like this then. Using this model as a start, you can now derive a Lagrangian relaxation by relaxing all the newly added coupling constraints yi equal to xi as shown in a previous video. This is what we call a Lagrangian decomposition. When doing so, 
the Lagrangian decomposition consists of two independent parts, one that depends on the x's and one that depends on the y's. Consequently, when you try to solve the Lagrangian relaxation, you can solve two models independently. This leads to a final remark. When figuring which constraints to use the x's and which constraints to use the y's, it's clever to choose the names in such a way that the constraints that use the x's have some nice properties and the constraints that use the y's have some nice properties too, so that solving the two independent models is possible.